Let us start this question number three on electromagnetic induction. This is your past paper IGCSE question on transformer. So before we start, you can pause the screen, solve the question and play the video again to check if your working is correct. So let us understand what is happening in the question. A battery charger includes a transformer and a rectifier. Okay, represents the transformer. So this figure here represents a transformer consisting of an iron ore. So this is your iron core with two coils P and Q wound onto the core. So if you see, this is your coil P. Identify where is P written. It's very important that you identify the information which is written and correspond it with the information which is given in the diagram. So you have located P, you have located Q. P consists of 40,000 turns and Q consists of 2,000 turns. When P is connected to a 230 volts AC supply, the supply here at P is AC which is 230 volts, there is an EMF across the terminal Q. Let us write down the information. So what is the, what is the potential difference here? It is 230 volts. They are asking you how much is the EMF induced at the secondary coil. Calculate the size of this EMF. That's the first part of the question. How do you find the size of this EMF? Simple. It is the easy formula for transformer. What does the formula say? V1 over N1 is equal to V2 over N2. Where V1 is the primary EMF or you can say VP. V1 is the primary EMF or and V2 is the secondary EMF. So let us calculate the secondary EMF which will be equal to 230 volts. This is 230 divided by the number of turns here is how much? 40,000 multiplied by this N2 will go on this side and become some multiplication. So 2000. This will give you your answer. Let us tally your answer with the mark, mark scheme if they are also doing the same thing. Yes. 2000 over 40,000 into 230. So your answer will be somewhere around 11 or 11.5 or 12. Any answer in between this, this, re, this uh, range will be a correct answer. So let us say it is 12 volts. Right, it is a two mark question, so be careful. It is very relevant because it's not a one mark question. Write down your steps. It is carrying a high mark, so always a good idea to write down your step. Question number, the second part, which is A, the second part. It is a three mark question. Let us understand what is the question about. Explain how this EMF is generated. So why is this EMF generated? That's the question. Why is it generated? If you do not understand why the EMF is generated, please go through my video on transformers to understand why this EMF is generated. Three mark question, three relevant point they are looking for. Right? So what could be the first point? What is the current that is flowing in the primary coil? It is an AC current. The question says AC current. So what do you say? The first point, AC current, AC current produces an alternating Alternating what? Magnetic field. Let me write it as MF. But in your answer, you write the correct statement. Since it is alternating current, the magnetic field which is produced is also alternating. All these things are very well explained. That's the first point which will give you one mark. Second point. Alternating. Alternating. 
alternating magnetic field induces an alternating alternating what emf alternating current alternating magnetic field induces an alternating emf because the magnetic field here is alternating so therefore the emf which is induced is also alternating so here in these two statement itself you have given so many relevant point let us identify this term will fetch you one mark and a connection with this alternating emf the usage of these terms will fetch you each one one mark one mark here and therefore alternating emf one mark if you can use these three scientific terms and the linkage between them you get full three marks for this question this three mark question is looking for three key terms and the correct relationship between them alternating current in the primary produces an alternating magnetic field in this whole region because of the alternating magnetic field an alternating emf is induced at the end q let us verify our answer with a mark scheme look at this alternating or changing magnetic field voltage induced it creates a changing changing flux linkage they are looking for all these linkages as well everything we have identified and said in these two simple statements so that's how that's a very very common igcse question which we have just solved here very common and um, please practice talking about writing the answer for these kind of question it is a clear cut linkage of three scientific terms alternating current producing alternating magnetic field and because there is alternating magnetic field it induces an alternating emf all right practice this question and again and again because this is a question which repeats every time and all you need to do is to give your statement like these two statements three key keywords and all the all the three marks right the output q is connected to a rectifier circuit you are creating a circuit here which is a rectifier circuit state the name so that kind of a circuit let me complete a circuit so they have connected a device here question mark to create a rectifier circuit rectifier circuit means you are connect you are converting your ac current into a dc current direct current an alternating current goes up and down the magnitude changes with time whereas a direct current is a constant magnitude current this is your ac current this is your dc current the theory about it is also explained very well in the in the chapter of transformers name the circuit component that is used in a rectifier cir circuit to rectify the ac or the alternating current which is the rectifier component is the diode very common question if you see it has repeated again the previous question was also about of a similar type so here in this question mark here in this box what is the device that comes the device that comes is your diode name the property of this component now i'm on the last part name the property of this component that is used to rectify the current what is the property of the diode it allows current to pass through it in only one direction let me show you the mark scheme it conducts in only one direction so the chapter on diode you can go through the video on diode as well to understand how the diode works and how it rectifies the circuit for any further questions you can comment on the comment box